move to finals. Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm OP, and in today's episode, we'll be following T1's path to champions at the 2023 World Championship. Let's dive straight into the unkillable Demon King's journey to his fourth World Championship. See, I can see a smirk there, a wry smile on his face as he manages to get probably the most success. Sides here, as there might be a dive onto Summit, but Guman Carry, are they going to be okay with Yoshi moving in? Yeah, Summit trying to deal with this minion wave, but it is just too big. They do manage to get a teleport out. Can they kill him in time? That is going to be the one for one, as now the stun comes in. It's a two for one and TL trade up. Now Pyoshik making his move towards the bottom side. The Q is going to land. Gumiyushi's in so much trouble. And Korja. T1 just goes for the blades. Arrow coming in. Yeah, Ona is going to get blocked out. So Pyoshik is going to be able to take this one. The arrow is going to connect for Yon. He's going to be able to cleanse that one away. Ona's still looking for more. As the shockwave lands, Pyoshik is going to try and safeguard his way out for the hostile takeover. Will cancel that. And Faker will grab some attention. Wards everywhere. Arrow going to connect onto APA. The hostile. Takeover comes through, and there is the chaining of CC. I don't know what spread might be looking towards play on Faker. Pioshik does have his ult. Yeah, there is the Warthog flash. Scatter of the Week not going to be able to get the stun there, though, as Pioshik is going to be the target here. Faker wanting some revenge gets the flash out of him in trade for the Shockwave, as now Zayas is looking to put in some support as well. Not going to be able to catch up. TL with three man strong here in the mid lane against the three of T. Oh, the flash forward from Zayas is going to be scattered. APA doesn't have a flash of his own, though, as the Shockwave was looking to grab Pyoshik, but they'll get the free kill on the Syndra. APA not able to make his way out. And particularly on such a long lane between the speed up from Faker plus the speed up from Jace as Cole goes in. Storm. That is going to be the hostile takeover, though. It's Gumiushi's just raining hell down on Core JJ. He's going to be the first one to fall, but Summit does get the all out on the carrier not going to be able to bail himself out of this one bit too expensive but the q3 is going to connect and now gumushi's in trouble the arrow is going to connect onto young but it was summit that was the problem and tl will answer back beautifully in mid it's going to go back towards this bottom side of the map and try and clear up these minion waves core jj finds faker once again shattering strike going to come through but he's going to be pulled back by the shockwave the dissonance comes in there's the magnus storm as faker is pulled forward can he find the clockwork wind up he doesn't need now, Flash Ariana doesn't exactly have too many methods. And now, the TL Baron that we were just talking about, they're going to consider it here. The rest of T1 are in the area. Faker has teleport. There's 30 seconds on TL to make this play. And if they can lock this down, it could be a huge advantage for them. They need to keep Owner out of this pit, though, as APA. He's going down low. Core JJ looking for his opportunity. Can he play bounce? So they get him out of the pit. And it's going to be Pyoshik that locks down the Baron. Can they win the fight? There is the question. The hostile takeover gets the kill, utilizing Yun to kill APA. It's a disaster for TL. And Zayas, he knows it. He's flashing over walls. Yun's going to be able to pick up one, though, with these Chakrams. I have a feeling that that might be all he's going to be able to get. But let's see what he can do here. Uses the last of his mana on the Moonshot. And uh, yeah, he's in an alcove. And I don't know whether he's getting out unless it's fun. And, and right now, TL is looking to peel. They're hoping to get the teleport and then oh, peel. They do not want to flip this. Area is just going to get caught out of position. Call JJ let's go. is there. And that is going to be the pickoff to start this one. Even the Rift Skull. The kick on the Faker from Pyoshik. It does not stop from this man today. And Ona down to 50%. Of course, Summit's got the Q3. And it's Don't a double skull. for APA. And that's going to be a Baron for TL. Piosik is legitimately the defending world champion. Getting two kills for TL, no jungler for That's T1. That's the second Baron of the game. Two for two for Liquid. I'm giving it at least 50-50 now, boys. 100%, that is going to be the second. Will be incredible. Right now, though, Baron power play actually working out okay. Ooh, Summit, Summit has to be able to escape this. Trying to get out of the way, but the Glacial Prison is going to connect. The arrow is going to sail wide. He tries to all out his way through. Does still have a bit of a shield, but Faker will finish him off now. Still needed a lot of resources to lock that one down, as Baron is going to be utilized to try and take down this inner turret as well. But T1 going to get themselves into position. The volley is going to tag them. Not going to push into... Going for Radiant Virtue here on the uh, Renata. Trying Fair. to... Build oh. the most Scatter the weak trying to come forward here. Summit just by himself line. finds himself. And Kill the Magnus Storm under three. It's gigantic. And Summit's going all out. He's going to get out of the fight as well with Kumiyushi. He's taken down Yon already. It's full and JJ both 
of them are going to go golden, and it's T1 that just roll over the top of TL, and even Summit will not be allowed to escape as Gumiyushi looking to chase after him. He's got the ward in the brush, and I have a feeling Summit, by going the wrong direction, That's is probably still going and to die. After a 35-minute nail-biter with two Barons going over to TL, T1, well, they don't get the clean ace because Summit stays alive, but... They were that winning until they game. weren't. Chronicler, and that is going to be the Nexus turrets falling down. Our observers following the story of Summit, but it's the Nexus that needs to be addressed. And T1 are going to take the game, the first game of Swiss. Let's say with Kha'Zix, if you do fall behind against this much CC, this much damage to the Orianna, and now it's going to be Aatrox. Port is also going to come down into the mid lane, or come up, I should say, as now Karia is here. He's got a combo going as the rest of Gen G is trying to come out and punish this, but it's actually T1 who are now in a 3v2 situation. Peanut has to flash away. Even Guma's joining the fight, and T1 are going to start to invade the jungle against the Kha'Zix here. And a little play down on the bottom side of Flash away at the same time. But we got Owner looking for the solo, and he's just going to dunk onto Peanut as Toby. Spiking so hard right now. They're only up 700 gold here, but the items they have on the carries they have are just so deadly. They're going to actually take this turret, maybe more. Pays is just eating the damage. I mean, he just sits on the ball, and Faker says thank you very much. I Get those first few without a real fight. As Doran once again <laughs> looking for an opportunity. Wait, this is the same spot. I saw this already, but it was uh, Kaisa. But Faker said, as I am different, I can challenge you, and that he will. He's just holding on, waiting for the one second for his shockwave. Doesn't even need it. As Toby gonna come in, dodging the shuriken as Faker, but he's in a lot of trouble. He's alone against three, and now Zeus is on the run to light, trying to continue on this one. Pays running into the rest of T1, but they will just be able to get away by for some resets. But T1 barreling into the river. It looks like they do want to challenge this in the bottom side. Delight is a bit caught out, but he is recon, and now he's going back in. He's looking for the big engage with that rumble ultimate over the top. That's going to be the Kaisa just gone in this fight before it even began as Joby just running down the top side alongside Adoran, and that is a clean ace to the side of Genji. That's Delight. This is very well set up for them to just take the Cloud Soul, and that they will. They're just going to take down the objective, and in the front is Owner. He's just going to get ripped to shreds immediately. Gooba doesn't even get to do damage in this fight. And Zeus on the run as well, taking a bunch in goes Guma, trying to do something. But at this point, it just looks like Gen Z are in total control of this game. And Faker just going to walk away with just his life. The rest of his team is gone. Front, he looks like a squishy target. Maybe you can push, push onto this Rakan, but the light will turn on you on the diamond. They just cannot close the distance. Owner tries, ultimately without Faker's help. But like I was saying before, everything needs to work together with T1. And if there's no vision, if there's no choke point control, you just cannot do it against Gen G. Oh boy, Faker trying his best, but I think Gen Z have their sights on the Nexus as a massive equalizer over the top, just the cherry on top. The side, that would be super powerful. It's more of that Faker just wants this for the general theme of their team. Pressure on does uh, commit the flash this time around, doesn't find a ton of success, but they are really just trying to tax C9 everywhere, knowing Blabber was topside, knowing he was pushed out there. He's forced to flash and budge. Now level six is up. Uh -oh. oh, he's taken way too much damage from that equalizer already. He's gonna go. Keeping Berserker down bot lane for a long time. It's allowed Karia to push the wave, recall, and now be on the way to Rift Herald, which wouldn't give C9 time to kill it. 2v2 at the top side, the Equalizer getting some big value, and now Owner is going to join up with this one, as they do want to extend this play, but not sure if they want to overextend as Sven has come on in. And the Flag and Drag goes in up to the Rakan, as Owner just doesn't give a damn. He has Karia behind him, gets him in the death chamber, oh, as the ultimate man. comes out, and everybody is going down on the side of C9 in the top lane. T1 just burning them to a in the river and look for a fight or drop the Herald mid. While they're over the wall, they're looking for Sven as he is going to get dunked on, and he's got one hope, his ultimate ability, but that's not going to do enough as he was. Over the wall and 
throwing cues at Berserker and Berserker juking them. There was never like a counterplay that C9 would be able to make. Uh oh, Fudge in a lot of, of trouble. He flashes onto the other side of the equalizer. Zeus just tanking this one up. Fudge is still alive underneath this turret. He's just going to get flagged from that. Hold his own in mid lane and press his F keys yeah. really good in talk. He's been pressing his keys pretty well. Owner, once again, I, maybe it's showboating. I'm not sure. Owner in a little bit of trouble as he does have some help from his squad, but he is going to be able to get away. Blabber gets hooked by the feathers, and now there's a massive equalizer on the entirety of C1. Just trying to, C9 rather, trying to retreat out of this one. That's a huge play comes out from Curia, oh. and they turn this one around, and even the tower can't get into this one, as Curia will disable that. This might just be a clean ace going into the hands of C1, and that it is. Nobody will fall on the side of T1. An insane win here for T1, but we all saw it coming. They had control over the dragon, and at this point in time, owner is just so tanky, he could absorb a lot of that damage, and as the turn begins, it be We've had a That's couple a of 24-minute uh, games as well. And, uh, you know, Wolf was talking about it before. We're on pace for a perfect game. That's just going to be Berserker dead for free. There's just no help under the turret. He has Flash, but no time to react. And T1 are just taking whatever they want on this map right now. They're on that inhibitor turret. If they want to commit to it, they don't even have to. And T1 have control over every zone. To be safe, they will, of course, sync up the waves. They're going to put Faker in the bottom lane here. And Blabber. Hey, he got the blue buff. Yeah. You so know what? At what cost? That's pretty, pretty good. He got the buff. Oh, no. He's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, he's, he's being chased down here by owner. I think that carry is just going to let him do the 1v1 thing. And there he goes. Dunks into. You know, they're on pace to try to break one of the fastest games that we have had here in the Swiss stage. The turrets of the Nexus are already going down. C9. They're going to have to make one last stand, and they get the knock up here on a Zeus who loses a total of zero health at this point in time as the Bard ultimate comes out as well. And Carrie is having a lot of fun at this point. Fudge is in that back line, but he's just going to be ripped to shreds by the Feathers once again as C1 will play with their food. They will get what they deserve after this victory as down will go the Nexus. Oh. You know he can pull it out whenever he, he can, wants, baby. He, he has the card. Yes. You can pull the diddly card whenever. Mark with the spear. The three-man invade coming out from BLG. Crash down. Not going to find anything He's other fight. than the red buff. Now they're backing away. Red buff still at about 1,000 HP. Owner taking some damage. Gets ignited. Has to continue falling back. Shun still trying to find a little bit of poke oh. here. They engage. Oh, nicely catching Owner up. But now Shun's going to back away. Owner with a flash out trying to stay alive. But now Elk is under pressure. Down to 100 <laughs> HP. They're nearly going to kill him. It's first blood back over to T1. The invade crashes and burns. Now Shun has to try to get away. The flash is already down. Can he escape the power of the Kench? He's been hit with the lick. The flash of the wall. How many licks to the center of a Nidalee Pop? It's only going to take one more. Shun falls. Carrier grabs the second kill of the game for T1. Owner picks up the eyeball. Everybody came to the party, but now we're all leaving to go do our homework. Carrier finds a tongue lash on Yagao. No more follow-up here just yet. Nice root coming out from Guma Yushi. Now they're going to go in. There's the Wombo combo. T1 ain't going to kill anybody just yet. Yagao barely gets away. Owner's ready to swoop in for the Cataclysm. And on gets turned off. Guma Yushi flips the switch. And now Shun tries to fire back. Side Faker, they are identical right now. And he's only at 13 CS. The Senna doing wonders for T1. Yeah. Total damage. Zay is topping those charts, but it's pretty easy to do when you're Nara gets to melee. Flashing forward. Mega Nara in the wall. Wallop. Rock toss. One more hit. will do it. Zay. They're going to be able to push at least half of it. BLG, this is the moment. All right. TP coming in. They want to try to stop this. Find a punish. Knock up on two. Coming out from owner. Guma usually looking to disengage back up towards the top side of the jungle. TP coming in now. T1 regrouping. Low health bars on BLG. Zeus is taking towers right now. Zeus did not join. T1 said, we're fine without you, buddy. All right, pin is low. Still lots of free firing damage coming up from Guma Yushi. Remember, there is no ulti available for Alka. On goes in, finding a magnet storm onto three, but he ain't gonna find any kills just yet. On is gonna die first. They take out the jungler second. Ben ain't gonna get it. Shun is down. T1, run them over. The range is lethal from T1. Four versus five, BLG just can't even get close to T1. And when they finally do, Carrier devours his mid laner and brings him back into the fight to wreak havoc. Carrier, he's oh, not done. Oh no, he even stops Bin's recall. If he gets this croc here, there it is. Abyssal dive takes him out.
out. Zay is about ready to transform. Magnet Storm was used for a whole lot of nothing. Owner's got Yagao locked down, but Owner's gonna drop instead. They'll trade him back for the mid laner, and Shun falls too. Now it's two inhibitors down, and a 4v3 for T1. The souls are all over the place, but they're the souls of BLG players, as T1 is not stopping here. Elk may have been the one to take out Owner, but now the push just keeps going. Zayus will grab another on bin as Elk has the killer instinct right back into his own fountain. He flashes away just to live. <laughs> T1 just stomped BLG in game one. Dude, yeah, what are you man, right she was now. the main character of that show. How can the main character not have? Okay, it's... Tom Kench is a good answer. Yeah, ping up here in the top side. As now we are going to see a TP coming in, but it's from Yagao, who just picked up the Leandries. Owner's going to lose the opportunity for his combo, and the Dragon's going over to T1. But what about the fight? On trying to get away. Guma wants to get excited. Beautiful engage on the Yagao. T1 may lose their jungler, but they're going to get three and a Drake back for it. It only top lane for them. If you're looking at what's going on up there, Bin could be a serious issue. And if you're BLG, that's something you know you can play around as the game goes forward. Oh, it's going to be caught by Shockwave! He could not live through it! Looking for a potential play, maybe a dive. But no, it looks like with the wave clip from Zest Flash. Oh, Owner just flashing in, looking for the damage here onto Elk. Nearly finds him, Super Mega Dad, they're going to get it! But the flag will be planted! And half elfed him, but now he's he's behind them with a big flank. He's looking for the flank, beautiful two-man stun. Gumi Yushi gets hit by it, Ons coming around from the side. guma has got to be careful, but Shun flashes back over the wall, off to the left, keeping himself alive as Elk is trapped in the Cataclysm here, yet again, the feathers fly. Owner tries to stay alive! A dunk from the Super Mega Death Rocket! A double kill of an Aguma Yushi! He's excited, and he just can't fight it! T1 are turning this game on it! See the mountain goats up on those uh, tiny cliffs? Uh, like, it is crazy! Uh, right, oh, the oh. They're trying to catch Owner this time, but instead, it's on! And Gumiyoshi's unstoppable! They found Yagao! Shut down! Sending Zeus right for him. The two bouncers here, Karia and Zeus, gonna make sure he's oh. getting nowhere near that thing. He's not getting nope. an opportunity to even try. Oh, but they got him with the tongue lash! Oh. Elk has to flash over the wall! Elk with a potential massive outplay as Zayus goes into the stasis, but he keeps himself alive! Gumi Yushi is dominating and Ben will not find the stun here with a counter-strike! All of T1 is yes. Faker with his crown shattered. Okay, Owner with the engage, forcing the flash out of Yagao. Beautiful flag and drag right back out over the wall. Ben gonna be the target now as On looks to try to provide some disruption. Shun back over with a ball breaker, but he ain't gonna find a whole lot. Re-engage from Owner. Stop watch to stop him in their tracks! Oh my goodness, it's T1! Just absolutely rolling over him! Double kill for Guma, triple kill for Guma. Owner picks up another, bends the last man left alive, and he's gonna walk home with a broken leg. T1 absolutely dominating. T1. Oh, hang on, back in the action. Back in the action yet again. Shun trying to get away. Super Mega Death Rocket not gonna find the target, but Gumi Yushi finds the kill on Elk instead, and they'll happily take that. Bin trying to disengage with a leap strike back to his jungler, but now he's gonna be thrown up in the air by Owner yet again. Shut down over to Gumi Yushi. T1 may have just won the game. Another convincing fight for T1. BLG just, they, they have no options in the fight. T1 are just consistently getting the better of them. Shun is forced to retreat. The TP now coming in from both Zayus and Faker. T1 are ready to end it here. The early game was tough. The top lane was rough. And for BLG, it was not enough. T1, the greatest team ever in League of Legends, is ready to bring it back and do it again. They're on the Nexus, and they're on their way to the quarterfinals. Something that I've heard about. Yeah! Neela's gonna get locked in. It is the Neela Senelane. This is one. Three members in the area ready to set up. Scout on the flank, however, gonna look for the shove. Is gonna manage to catch only Zeus in the meantime. Baker still standing strong. Shockwave getting good damage down. T1 quick to force the fight. Sika not powerful enough to force that one through. T1 taking one and might just turn right back to the Herald. Further extend Faker's lead, as you can see on the bottom of your screen there. Scout doing what he can to just push everything back, but now they might just go in for the counter punch. Scout pulled away, forced to flash out to safety. The Herald still connects. Now Faker gonna be in trouble, but again, there's no follow-up damage here. Oriana just sitting pretty. Thank you very much, Tarzan. That was terrible. And now I want that T1, they're living... Is gonna be on. Have to be careful about locking themselves in the pit. 
Keep your eyes on Guma if he gets to the back line. Owner now stepping forward. Dragon Soul stolen, and now it's Guma Yushi looking to tear through the entire team. Goes golden right to the back Take line. Up. Seus continuing to step up, but Zeka needs to be the difference maker. Zeka needs to hold on, but there are too many members free firing into the Gwen. Zeus stands strong on the back side of the fight, taking down so many members. One as well. An incredible start to the series. Zayus off to the side, but LNG has to be careful about overcommitting. Zayus still just taunting them, teasing them. Blitzcrank, can the hook come out? Cataclysm locking him in. They will connect, but he pulls it back! Apotheosis! Kumayushi ascending to godhood in that moment as LNG are torn to shreds. T1 too far ahead. They make it look effortless. It's a clean ace for T1. Baker shockwaves the minions just to speed up the demise of LNG. The Korean fans erupt here as T1 gonna claim game number one. Busan will not be silenced. Uh, yet. The yes. This is so funny because I was talking about that in Pick and Ban game number Follow up there instead. The Herald immediately gonna get dropped. T1 now looking to grab two plates here. Flash in though, owner's not happy with just two plates. Scout now gonna be in trouble, but they can't quite find the damage. Baker going forward, looking for a bit of revenge after the first tower dive. He will then will try to retake some of this vision. And LNG are going to try to get the Scuttle and see if they can find the better angle for the engage. Scuttle down. Gala, great guns for a fight. In terms of sustained DPS, he absolutely outclasses Guma. But if it just comes down to a poke battle, he will not come out on top. LNG forcing the issue. Hong doesn't have a good angle to engage at all, though. Like, look where he's playing. He's almost like trying to mark Zayas, but he needs to get the back line. They're going to go. Flash in. Owner Gala manages to make it out safety. Isolated for now. Look for Zayas over the wall. Zayas on the back line. But Gala, Gala. down forced to safety. Shock rooms stacked. Zayas can't find the angle, but the shutdown coming through for Baker. T1 taking the fight anyway. Gala looked good. As he comes over the side there, gets right into both the carries from LNG's to force the fight here. T1 has to be careful about grouping for the Infernum ultimate. Owner a little bit chunked here, and Hong's looking for that angle. They're going to try to pinch Zayus. Dragon resetting a little bit here. Both sides backing away. It's just a battle of poke. Both sides hoping to bait the other one into pressing the trigger. The charm now coming through. Will it be enough to lock down Zayus? No is the answer. Scout given to the Aatrox as tribute, and now Gala's in trouble. T1 coming alive. They see the window of opportunity. They take the weakness and the armor of LNG, and they tear it asunder. There is no room left in the fight. T1 will take everything they want in this game, too. Hung, a last desperate effort, but the TP's coming mid. I mean, that's going to be game. They're going to throw for the end. T1 put LNG in a lose-lose position. You have to contest for this objective. Elder, just too much power to give over, but T1 Patiently prodding, find the angle. And the fervor of the fans in Busan will not force T1 to play over aggressive. They keep their discipline, they remain composed, they close out cleanly versus LNG in game two and bring us to match point, a semifinal spot on the line. They're really, really poor, I do think, for LNG. For LNG, I think the early game is going to become so incredible. It's a return play here from Tarzan. and repeat, finding the lineup, finding the angle, instant damage coming through for Infalios. So they can get the root as well if they can find the mark. But nice counter punch coming in from Guma, using the ult to stop the play in its tracks. Gala continuing to step up. Desperate to get a little bit more here, but has to be careful. The mark now coming through. Bar is good damage. Guma wants to finish it, oh! and he gets it. Absolutely. Back of it. Hong and Gala around. Tarzan is sniffing, but. It's gonna be too little, it's gonna be too late, so it's about the fight if it's about anything. On to Kuma, follow up is there. Owner Zick gonna on. connect, Zick on the backside. Hostile takeover is clean, and again, there's no cleanse available for Gala. It stops the play for now. Zika trying to find one. Owner surely should fall here. Still standing because of the bailout, but he will eventually die. And in just a couple of seconds here, counting down, ticking away. Yeah, they can't do it. Baker gonna try to cover early ult to try to make it out safety. T1 backing off, are they gonna kill? LNG linger for a bit too long, not respecting the burst, and here comes Faker, Tarzan, getting shredded by the soldier, one more is gonna do it. They'll just push Tarzan off, they'll secure the top tier one, so they don't even need to use the Herald, just get a quick reset. Go Basically an isolated 1v1, which with the Jace, Baker he's always gonna win. In the darkness, coming through, the pushback on Zayas to the skies, done. Alti goes a little bit wide, but the second half of the route on the Chain of Corruption will catch. Owner wants to keep this 1v1 going. Scout now retreating, Scout now coming in. Stun goes in, the pullback nice Cancel. from Scout, buying a bit more time, but now again the follow-up, the steadfast presence, and who is steadfast if not T1 in the face of elimination? Three backs. This early on is Tarzan. Tarzan, that's not your side of the rift, Zeus. Oh, Back wait. away, Gala off to the side. He can root up two. Follow-up auto's there, Roots. No, this 
Buying a bit more time with the hostile takeover. Now they're now onto each other. They're just killing each other. LNG, the fight instantly turned to beautiful from Terry, but Scout can't get the damage. It is not enough. T1 are going to keep the chase going. Faker's going to take the hex. No he turrets. wants to wrap behind them. Look at mid. Mid, they're going to try to get both towers. They'll prevent the charge on the tier one by killing it off. So they're going to push in that Herald and go for two towers off of the play and off of the delay there from T1. They get a kill. They take two towers. They're going to get a third charge mid as well. And they got the hex that Drake with all that going on as well. Soul point again at 18 minutes. Can they make it work? Tarzan stepping forward, frontlining, the handshake pulls them back, the Baron already gone. There's no fight left, it's still, Owner goes in, finds the knock up on two, they cut the back line, they're just forced to back away, but again, discipline is the story for T1. They got what they came for and they walk away. T1 get everything, they get the TP off Zika, they get the Baron, they're pushing down that top lane and they're gonna be able to answer mid. Maybe you lose the tier one, but look at Carry setting up for Hostile play. Hostile takeover, shockwave there. Hostile takeover, a little bit of damage here. Faker off to the side, owner backing away. Just the tier one and the objective bounty taken. This is a five versus four. Zayas is just pushing in the top side of the map. That's their most fat member, he's not even there. On hit Varus. Azir with Nashers and a monster fat chase. And Zeus, full confidence play. There's no reason he needs to do that. That's in a row that this guy has hit. He's monster fed. And he is just having them Hand downloaded. Back, connected down to the wall. Zeus firing up with so much damage down. Go Zika. The pushback is massive. Gala knocked out at T1 eyes on the prize. And it's the God of Thunder. He loves his Lightning Champions, and Jace was always his most iconic. And in this final game, Zayus shows why he still pulls it out. Final push now, LNG, one last desperate hold. But they've got nothing left. And even as every other LCK team falls away, Faker stays standing. T1 stays standing. The last light of the LCK burns bright, and Busan is a head to the semi-finals! Uh, with Jin and T1, none of it good, <laughs> and it is also a really big pivot away. Is it out, but the timing window might just be there. It's perfect for the setup. Three, six, now nine. they know! Total control of the lane, but just now sees Owner. Owner mounting up. On the way in, looking to lock him up and take him out. 369 still standing for now. Will he burn the flash or just accept his fate? Trying instead to turn and burn on Zayas, get a little bit more health damage. Just accepts his fate. First blood for the side. Trying aggressively stack dragons, but they won't have the opportunity. We do see Knight already here. Doesn't look like T1 is going to be able to contest this. Zayas going for the solo bolo and he just gets the kill. What? That Jeez. is that is not a comet diff right there. That's a Zayus diff. God of lightning, God of the top lane. He lays it down and through. Getting low, but opted for lethality. He's still relatively squishy, all things considered. Zayas still stepping forward with the infernal chain, looking for the lockup. Tempered fate now coming in, isolating Knight. Knight right in the back line, and owner immediately with the follow-up engage. Zayas still standing. Now finally the buy is going in, but it might just be too little too late. Knight, <laughs> fancy feet to the back of the fight. Burn. Zayas ticking, burning, but the shutdown is nice. Favor. They're not willing Dragon. to give up this Drake for free. Owner into the pit and he will steal it right out of Kanavi's hands. Curtain call over the wall. There is nowhere for that buy to go. Guma now on a killing spree. Missing running for his life. Locked up into the wall. Equalizer used just to keep the support alive. T1 make it look effortless there. They just come in. Yoink. Thank you so much for the dragon. Owner steals it away and they also get oh, the... No. Never mind. Owner. He gets a freebie back. Staying a bit too long. Stun now coming through. 369. Careful not to overheat too quickly. Continuing to walk forward. Making sure now he has the flame spinner to try to bring it back. Shockwave there. Carrier not quite able to connect. Maybe they have the damage. Faker's going to be in trouble. Missing out. Pushing him back. Trying to sacrifice. Oh. 369 burns down to the ignite of Carrier. Missing. Killed as well. And Select. There's no pure big tank on the enemy team. Temper Right there. A bunch of armor. Should be an easy follow up. Now Carrier taking his time, waiting for the wall to try to line it up. He doesn't even need to! It's JDG, this is such a tough angle to fight from. Continuing to stay around, continuing to stick around, willing to give up so many resources. The crash in mid lane already happened from the Herald. The tower slowly but surely crashing. Rather breaking down now as Dragon still aggroed here. Carrier playing on the edge. Ruler going oh. through the portal. 
Feathers fly, but to little effect as JDG just have to run the pullback over the wall. Now they're just trying to isolate and take out Zayos. Big golden flux for the side of JDG. Can they take the fall and fight? Already the equalizer burned. Carrier running through the magical journey. Everybody trying to get out, but Owner will be denied. Owner cannot find the escape, but it doesn't matter because T1 are there in time. Missing trying to fire back. Gumi Yushi out of ammo, desperately trying to reload, but here comes the Kunai. Here comes Knight, the flash away to safety. Three shots left in the barrel. Manages to lock him down, playing on the edge. Missing as he stepped. Faker's Baker coming! Bar. Faker on the flank. No shockwave. A lot of help. Has to play careful here. Knight, no ultimate. Needs to make his way out of this one. The lock up there from Guma from so far away. Oh, no. Owner coming in. The pullback on the missing. Trying not to stick around for too long. One taken down already. Knight now going in, trying to turn it back. Guma says not. Lineup not quite there. But the captive audience now coming through. Missing. Trying to back up. Shockwave pulling back just to kill the Alistair, but they get the tier two as well. The range on this composition, baby. Look at those picks for T1. The cow is down, and they're gonna get a free bottom tower. Look at the minimap. Zeus, free to split push to his heart's content. The last outer tower. The defense is here for JDG, crumbling. Carry a perfect predict on the shuriken flip means the lockup is there on the night. He goes into the shroud. Kanabi, ready to give his life to protect his mid laner. They're now going into the back line straight on Guma. Locked up with a temper fake, doesn't quite connect to the gin. Burns to the ground. JDG trying to hold on to hope, but here is Zeus. Here is the top laner right as they need him to crash down the pull back on the infernal chains. Ruler. Missing goes in, but he cannot find the edge. Ruler still stands, but he doesn't have the angle to attack. He doesn't have the angle into the fight. The shroud will take Knight out to safety in T1. Stand strong despite. Tempered fade onto Kanavi is big. The lineup is there. Zayo's immediately gonna look to knock him down. Can they find it? Kanavi now going right back into Zayo's owner in the area. Big damage coming in for the dark and blade. Missing on the back, they're trying to find some space. But the shockwave is clean! And in comes the curtain call! And it's Zayus wreaking havoc on all of JDG to finish the fight. T1 looking to break over the base of JDG. That's a clean ace. That's gotta be the game. I think they can push for the end. Halt construction on the Golden Road immediately. T1 have something to say about it. From start to finish, they have been in the driver's seat from the creative pathing in the early game of Owner to shut seconds. down. 369. T1 have their eyes on the prize, and the prize alone. A spot in the finals, or at least one game closer. T1 showing up massive in this first game. Missing and Kanavi should not be enough. The Nexus lower and lower. T1 drawing first blood in this series. Chura's gonna go Lefaldi, even facing Cassante. But I think the main thing with Senna and Kalista is that they're level one. I'm trying to stand between them and that huge achievement. Karia on the level one is gonna lead the way with the Ash. Thing, taking so much damage. We're now Nine. continuing a free fire to Karia. Karia has to be careful. Will he be forced to flash over the wall? For now, standing strong. 369 on the backside has popped the Ghost. One Q stack going, but he can't really find an angle in. Has to be careful. Third stack missing incredibly low. Q through the creeps, trying to pick up some souls. Owner getting lower and lower. 369 for Zayas up to the He's side, but two. Owner <laughs> getting burned down. Owner level two, he flashes in. They get first blood, it's traded back. Knight running for it. Outside, this game has it all. Now we got a Maokai gank in the bot lane. Ruler has to be careful, just barely gets around the trap. But Owner stepping forward, the cleanse isn't gonna be enough. Walking in, one more out of the kick. Wait, another flash in. Carrier seals the deal. Missing, trying to fire back with Carrier. Blinking, oh, Kanami. Kanami, looking for one. That's Bam. one. Knocked down. We've seen the scene in Arcane. You know exactly how this goes. Flash in, hits him with the fist of cuffs, double kill. Going over. Help him get another turret plate. Alting, no one there to body block for missing. That could be disastrous. Terry behind, Zayas behind as well. Kanavi gonna be in trouble. Ruler now trying to run for his life, kiting this one out. Zayas keeping his eyes on the Callistas. Kanavi in the backside will find one. Knight with the shockwave at least managing to lock down. Just Zayas using the Scryer's Gloom just to see if there's anything spotting him. Another aggressive engage here. Carry a locked up though. Knight finds the shockwave onto one. The TP now coming in. That's 369 on the backside. Looking to isolate the rest of team. One kill already going down. Guma off the ribs. Carrier running for his life. Kanavi continuing to step forward. Pullback coming in. JDG have brought T1 into the meat grinder. They are tearing through them effortlessly. But Faker now looking to fight. He clearly much more worried about losing control oh, on the Baron it. side. Kanavi going in. Immediate start to the fight. Faker now locked up. The pie oh. does so much damage. Kanavi's early game lead put to good use here. The G now coming out. T1, can they fight back? Zayus leaping and will get Kanavi in the end. One
for one thus far. Zay is going back under the Azir Tower. The rest of T1 now need to barrel into the fight, but it's eyes on Knight. Can he get more damage down? 369 in the midst of everybody. Oh. And he's going all out into the back line. Only the support left standing. Look at that. They're going to push straight down mid. And with 280 carries, there is no way that the Nexus isn't going to fall. And JDG come back with a resounding victory here in game number two. Game one about owners early passing about the team play, but game two has been about Kanavi and the dominance of JDG in fights. But that said, as good as the fight was, the good news is they're behind. They're going for it. T1. For the angle, missing could be in trouble here. Zayas on the backside looking to lock up, trying to take down a bit more damage. Infernal Chain's not going to be very effective. Knight going golden, has a bit more space. Kanavi now on the way, and in goes Kanavi! And that should just be it. T1 holding on for dear life. Baker on contest on the backside. Gumichi going golden, but he is going to go down. The flash out will not be enough. GA up just in time to keep Kanavi standing. It's a clean ace in the base of T1 as JDG will move on and close out game two. It's oh. Saw Dagda wins as soon as the Renekton hovers. That's not what you want in. from your Why? inside draft. Minions to get level two. Trying as quickly as they can to lock down some of these two level two now going in. Kanavi, good damage down on Aguma. Ruler flashing out of safety, ticking and burning, but he oh, will stay standing. Missing! Gets taken down! Who oh, A godly play! Kumuji, nice flash to get away from the piercing arrow and the three stacks. In the meantime, fight on the top side. 369 and Knight comboing together, catching out Baker. Kanavi getting one and spin! Goes the monkey, the cyclone coming through just in time to keep the fight going. But Zeus is not down yet. Zeus looking to fire back. JDG could be in trouble, missing not firing forward. He's got level six, but does he have the mana? The Herald does drop in the end. Knight still standing. The flip back is clean. Zeus living, missing. He gets the kill. He gets the red buff carry. And now running for his life. Flash over right to safety. Still so far, T1 are going to go for the dive. Kanavi's going to try and answer. TP now coming in, 369 staying alive for now, no dominance. Gore Drinker healing now coming in, but Zeus goes in just in time. Hostile takeover will not connect on the real Kanavi. They're still focusing on Zeus. The bailout will not be enough, and they'll say, kill Kanavi, not quite! Shattering strike. A bit more Weaver's Wall coming out, isolating owner. Might go for the 50-50, but it's absolutely psycho. Flashes over the arrow! Baker oh! goes in! It's incredibly clean! JDG with the counter punch. Can they get anything back? Ruler untouched on the backside. Dragon still standing, but owner will take that away to my god what an engage from t1 owner you magnificent beast what in the world he makes the engage happen and he secures the dragon t1 whoa my favorite story about owner too is that his name and oh Zayas? yes going in on a ruler it's ruler a caught stops. shopping oh no and he gets the dust blade. It's too damn clean. Kanavi trying to get something back, but it might be too little. Too late. The flick back coming in. T1C, their window of opportunity preserved. Both ADs just hitting each other. Knight now run. Objective. They have the Ren Smite combo. There is no reason they should give this up, but Kanavi might might just be able to take it. They're now trying to burst it down. The push over the wall doesn't connect, but it does not matter. T1 get the objective. Kanavi into the pen, and he will get taken down. 369 forced to run for the hills, and T1 have turned the game on its head. 369 running for his life, but Zeus is here! Look for the slice. Trying to double dash through one. Not able to get the second, the Q3, the Dark and Blade cutting down. But now Ruler, maybe he can get more in the fight. Ruler not running down Zeus. Owner now running. Ruler trying to make up for the previous mistake. JDG looking to take the fight. Owner overstaying, over commitment. Baker hit by the air! Dragon, objective, getting lower. Weaver's Wall bringing Knight into the fight. The entire team split. Arrow. Arrow going wide. That's massive. 369 going to the pit, trying to isolate, take out the jungler. T1 now need to turn. It's the hostile takeover. Connecting. Who can get the objective? And the steal coming through in time for Kanavi. But the fight is not done. Missing on the backside. Vulnerable on his lonesome. But JDG pulling back slowly. Surely they have no jungler, but they have the objective. T1 desperate to get more. They know they need to get something here. Pushing in. 369 over the wall. Knight continuing to poke. It's diligent. It is controlled. 369 now going in, forcing out the ultimate. Missing has been caught out. Missing will go down. The flash buying a bit more time, buying a bit more space. But he will get killed. It is only a matter of time. Zeus finishing up the fight. Absolutely is. Oh. Missing maybe now caught out again, just as you call it, Chronicler. But Kanavi in the meantime just trying to isolate Zeus. He needs to be careful, though, because the rest of T1 is now coming in. Missing running for the hills, but he surely will go down. Baker grabbing the kill. 369 being forced out of the pit. Locked up. Cloud Rift. Next two minutes and 20 seconds, it is JDG who are favored. Not quite enough members in the mid lane to bully this tower down, but the empowered cannon minions will be more than enough. Nine on the bottom side, T1 just need to weather the storm. 
And the heal is good in lane, but once you get out, it is very tough not to have the cleanse. Davis on the flank. Davis on the side. TP coming in. Faker looking to make the flank oh. against Ruler. Odor goes in. And again, the combos are clean. The hostile takeover is damn well hostile. T1 looking to leave. No survivors alive. There's ignited. That's the entire team. will get absolutely nothing. T1 what? in the clutch are too damn clean. Faker predicts Ruler's flash. He gets there first. He catches him with the ultimate. It is a clean ace. The T1 is going to go up to match point. And it's Faker that sets it up. Owner that knocks it down. Just when you think the JDG are in total control, it wasn't even about the Cloud Soul. It was a single moment from T1 that gave them this game that set them up for a match point. Missing. He won't be enough. T1 going to break the base. T1 going to move on to match point. A clean fight out of nowhere secures them their second game. Dead. And let's not forget, it was this Zeri pick specifically that got... This was the Iron Spike Whip. No level 6 Two again. Minus 6. Carry a flash to the wall, locking up Knight. It's a clean play. Flag drag, flash forward. Committing on a Knight. The Shockwave now coming in. Faker turning it right back. First blood. Everybody getting out. That's a one hell of a magical journey. They'll get the kill back on the owner, but now they're in enemy territory. Cosmic Binding is good, but here comes Kanavi. Locked up. Nowhere for Faker to go. And JDG fire back. Drop mid, Karius still has the ulti to deny the charge, but JDG barreling in. A lot of members here might be able to break the tower anyway. Still, they're going to break it. 369 caught up. Oh! Guma Yushi, can he go in for the counter engage? The flash out. Karius flashing forward, will not connect on the stun. Faker on the flank. Harold still there. Void Ramora still there. Zayas finds the knockup. He finds two, but there's no follow up. He gets out the Lulu wall. Kanavi now stepping in. Knight there. Shockwave oh! comes back. The counter punch from JDG is too damn much, but T1 are still standing. What is he going to get done? Now trying to lock them up. Has flashed out to safety. Owner buying a bit more space for Guma. But they're being forced to retreat. TP already used. Zayas waiting over the wall, trying to find the jungler. It feels personal how many times this man has managed to survive, but the fate is sealed of Kanavi. T1 manages the pit. They have zero tools to get on top of them quickly. T1 is determined to take the objective. It's getting lower and lower. There's a portal in the back of the pit. It's a goddamn good heist. Be the difference maker here. A good shockwave, the Zeri follow-up could be enough for JDG to take the fight, but for now they're focused on the objective. Owner zoning them away, 2.5k, it's getting lower and lower, they will burn it down, they get what they came for. T1, do they want to stay for the fight? Knockup coming through, Owner caught up, Flag and Drag will take him out to safety. Kanavi burning on the back side, Owner still standing, with Ruler with the lightning crash now trying to go in, but goes gold and carry by a bit more space for the rest of the team. Arrows coming in from the bars, Ruler incredibly low, but maybe, There's just maybe he can turn it back, but Guma's still standing tall, he can't walk in a rage, T1! Starting to feel like an inevitability! Ruler Zeri, not enough! T1 are running JDG in circles in these team fights! What? Team flashing forward. Just trying to deny, just trying to zone them away. Blood in their eyes. They want everything. They'll break the tier one. And Zayas is just like on the top side of the team right where oh, order lives. The lineup is one. perfect there. They've locked up Ruler. That's all that they need. Zayas now stepping in. Zayas desperate to get the Q3, but he cannot find the angle. Ruler now retreating. T1, will they go for more? Flash in from Owner. Kanavi now in trouble. Wild Gun coming out. T1 find the angle. Barreling down the top side with the Baron. Ready to break the backs of JDG. The magical journey for T1 coming through. And perhaps the Golden Road. Locked up. Knight is locked. The crown will not stop that. And he's only a Knight. Faker knocking him down. Unstoppable. Forward to give up to Soul. Guma clearing the mid wave. T1 a bit split. Eyes on Ruler. Eyes on the Shockwave of Knight. Kanavi stepping in, flash to the side from Faker. Ooh. At the cost of very Kanavi. little. Owner walking what? more, but Faker now dominating. Kanavi! A massive mistake. Carry it now going in. The ruler's untouched. Goes golden and now Ruler looking to take over the fight. Ruler still standing. Guma still standing. Guma firing back. Ruler goes down. Guma's just better. And their golden road as it crumbles before them. T1, the onslaught will not stop. Third inhibitor goes down. T1 pushing in. They're not done. They've got the Baron still. 36 seconds. 5k Red Bull Baron power play backing them up. Zayas finding an initial knockup, just a bit of poke. A single misstep from JDG and T1 can instantly fully commit to the fight. It's the shockwave. Kanavi getting lower and lower, falling apart under the pressure. JDG's hope dwindling. They've taken down BLG. They've taken down LNG. It is not LPL versus LCK. Versus 
the LPL, and they like those odds as they move to finals. This you can make in game number one, of course, this is Ona's most famous champion by a country mile. And some dragon. So that is one of the steps that they have taken here. Still, they're going to drop the world championship. Certainly has. And now Faker is going to dash in, finds the charm under the top catch. Faker has to get out of there, though. Can't be a snap for the hostile takeover. Gets so much work done. The devour in for the kills there. For Ona, Shahu now going down low. It's Faker. Dashes forward once again. But it looks like they'll have to settle for one and a half. Oh, down on that bot side, move up through the river. And with Kerry and Guma, at such a strong point early on. Yeah, Kerry is going to move on up here as Zayas is going to break those chains. Kerry is looking for that handshake. Angle is already the Shy has done a fair bit of damage, but I don't think it is going to be enough as it's Alco gaming for the Shy and he will go down. Ona grabs that. But it looks like Weibo isn't even going to give him the opportunity. It's Ona! Oh, no! there's the kick flash. Shao is going to be pushed into Faker the flash forward, but the charm is going to miss. What? The Pierce doesn't land it. Shao just walks it up. No worries there at all as Crisp is under the turret. They throw down Zayas. Errol, but Zayas has found two with the ultimate life. Goes down so low, but isn't going to survive. Weiwei trying to get himself out of there, and the Shy is given up on. Weiwei running the wrong direction, but they at least get the dragon. Weibo get the dragon, but T1 get the kill. Shahu lucky to get out of that one, but Weiwei, he's going home in the body bag. Underrated parts about this is how tanky it actually makes the cannon minions. They become very difficult to actually wave clear out. It allows oh, you to harass Guma. your opponent, but Guma. Could be in a bit run. of trouble here as Chris looks for it. The immediate cleanse does get out of the way. Nature's Cross isn't going to connect, but there is a twisted advance. Hostile takeover across everyone, though, but the Shy is just gigantic. Guma trying to hop away. The Fates call the knockups. And meanwhile, Weiwei is going down. Faker collects it before falling down. Chris has to go, though, because he's so incredibly low. And Zayas is tearing them to shreds. Weibo lying on the floor now as T1 looked to tidy up Chris. And they won that team fight even better than the loss. Guma refuses to go down. Karia saves him. Coming in with the hustle takeover in T1. They're on the Baron. And it's Renata that does it again. Karia standing at the ready. Keeps Guma alive throughout all of it. And T1, the goal before this was even Weibo picked up the dragon. But after this fight, multiple goal, uh, kills going over the T1. Baron secured. And it looks like we need a reset to try and break open the base of Weibo here in game one of the finals. Nature's Grasp flying forward. Ona still has that GE. Oh. Remember, Chris going down so incredibly. Loseus just executes the Chai up to the side. And there is another one. This guy's Yone is just absurd. And the inhibitor is going to go down. Weiwei is burning there as well. As now Shaohu tries to be the hero, but it does not work out. And I think T1 are just going to end game one here. And the early game, T1 not able to get a bunch of crucial kills, but they don't let it face them. They are able to find the one skirmish they're looking for, take the Baron, and from that point on, Weibo. Something that has been picked into him in the past, but I, I won't uh, won't talk about it too much. But having a jungler that can enable you, as I say, that owner is in top. Yeah, Zayas dashing forward, the needlework is out. Snip, snip, going to connect, but doesn't do too much, and in goes Ona. The flash oh! out oh, was incredible from the Shy. Ona Ooh! gets taken down to, oh my goodness, about one health, but will be able to walk away, but I don't think excited about ganking the shy anytime soon all those is just gonna go he's the one who goes aggressive now he's gonna get zoned off the bot wave so t1 Whoa. punishing so heavily here yeah the flash forward from carrier finds the handshake this time the infernal chains come in he's lit on fire he's feared and kuma yushi cashes in and not been able to claim that big title they've been chasing with Zayas showing up so far. Yeah, another teleport to come in here as they do manage to secure this Rift Herald. We'll see whether Weibo can get themselves out of here. Light gonna be hostile takeover, but he's the only one. And now Zayas looking for the target. Faker dives in though as well. He's gonna collect the first with the help of Ona. Chris gonna be spotted, but he does put that ward down. That is going to get there. The Drake going down very, very low, and now the paranoia comes in. Faker looks for the Spirit Rush, and he does find the hostile takeover is massive, as they get rid of Light immediately. Weiwei taken down for the double kill for Ona. Xiaohu now trying to get some damage in the back, and it does take down the Nocturne, but it's Chris fighting on the bottom side of the map, but Kumiuchi. 
recently, down. this early game started. He has been cashing in, and Weibo trying yeah. to start something here. Here's another one that Nature's Grass. They all line up behind, but it's a decent charm to come through their hostile takeover for some phenomenal disengage, and it looks like T1. They don't want to deal with it. Faker dashes over the wall. Remember, they don't have a turret here. The charm is going to split them. Carrier tries to get the He goes forward and then just explodes, and then Ona thinks that that's his moment. It's a double again for this Nocturne, and he survives! Iconic picks and their comfort is working out so well. Oh, Paranoia comes in once again as the flash out from the Shy may not be enough. They're under the turret. Ona was tanking it up, and Zayas is going to finish it. Inner turret should now be next on the clock. And because the rest of T1 is standing guard, don't know how many people are responding, and T1, they're looking for more. Yep, Shahu already taking a bit of poke damage. Light will turn up. As four members are here, teleport event not available for the Shy, but they dive in, the turret goes down, the needlework just rips the center to shreds, and Zayas just by himself destroying everyone! Hostile takeover comes in, Light has the cleanse, but you can't cleanse death, it's a triple kill for Zayas, and they'll get to work on the inhibitor, it might just be the game right here. Zayas playing like his namesake, a god, this guy is going crazy in the finals! Just extraordinary as this helps clear up this second Nexus turn and T1 at match point already. Weibo taking a big pivot here, right? They go towards Comfort with the Azir. They go towards something very different on the top side. With did just use his Lightning Rush, so I think he's in trouble. Yeah, there's the Flash Q3 from Zayas. The Shy is in trouble. The Lightning Rush is on cooldown. He gets slowed down by the Cripple, and the Q's going to land. Ona secures it, and that is first. Guma and Karia are so hard to attack in a lot of these situations. Oh, Q going to connect there. Nice little knockup as Karia tries to fight it. There's a quickness on Tattoo. The kick gets the knockup onto Shaohu. The Empress of Ida only gets Ona, but that will get him out. But Weiwei's not going to be so lucky. The Shy got in here, and now he might be in trouble. He breaks the chains, but is he still going to be able to get out? Gumiyushi decides he wants to fight light towards the bottom side. That was the right call. Zayas grabs the double kill, and Weibo lose out on the fight. And while the laning setup is there this time around for Weibo, their early game looking a lot better. The skirmishes, they're still not able to make work, although Teleport coming in. Yeah, Teleport from this top side of the river. Xiaohu coming in, looking for the opportunity, doesn't have the ultimate. They secure the Drake, does T1. Grand Entrance not going to find the target there. On to Crisp as the Tempered Fate comes in. Faker trying to play Bouncer to keep his team alive. And the ultimate doesn't really work out here from Crisp now on that back. Line. Look at Carrier though. It's so hard for Weibo to walk up because Carrier is on that sideline. They know he's there. Yeah, he flashes in. He finds himself. The charm on the four is there. Is the ultimate from the shy, but it just doesn't quite do enough. They try and get out, but Fake has the perfect execution and locks down his fellow ninja. Xiaohu now taking a whole lot of damage in Faker. He's in the shroud. He's toying with him. It's a double cost. He what? Over. And back in again. It's a triple for Faker. Zayas is going to be out of block down the next one. Faker event. Right in lane has really been impressive in team fights. And it just feels like a rejuvenated Ooh. Faker. And he goes again. Is now Ona looking for that opportunity as well. Backflip connects also as the perfect execution comes forward. Has he overstepped the answer? Is no, because he had the stopwatch anyway. And now the cavalry comes in. Crisp, the next to go down. Wei Wei, he's under a turret. Oh. Zayas flashes on top. The lethal Aatrox gonna get it done, and T1, they feel like it's Baron time. Oh, they're gonna get the next Baron, and they're gonna win the series oh. in Carrier. Gonna get knocked up here as Ona comes on over. He's here to protect his support. The quickness ties them all up, and Xiaohu going to be the next target. He finds two with the Empress Divide, but Crisp just evaporates. Weiwei Wei going to suffer the same fate as Zayas is on the warpath. Light able to sidestep, finds the chains of corruption, but there's not enough damage. Xiaohu decent flash to try and get himself out, but he's not out of the woods yet as Faker tidies up that kill and they are just so far ahead. Ona secures light with a sonic wave and the Shy finds himself alone heading back towards his base. That's the double kill. That's the clean ace for T1. And T1! Weibo try. They know they have to contest this dragon. They have to contest the soul. But they're not even given the opportunity. They thought they got Carrier. But Carrier says, come get me. And it looks to me like they're going to take this inhibitor and move back. It may not be. Oh. Won't even get that. It's heartbreaking as now they take a magical journey over Zayas. He likes this one though. One versus three. He's absorbing so much. The Empress Divide. It comes in, but he's still alive. What? what is going on? Baker Tidy's up the first. Everyone's just exploding. As Weiwei trying to get something done.
not, but it does not matter. T1 are too strong. Four times T1 has lost in a game five. Four times they've been knocked out, and four times they have got back up for this moment. It was seven years since their last, a decade since their first. The SKT legacy has been reignited. T1 will be your 2023 world champions. Thank you for watching until the end. This was T1's journey from Swiss stage to lifting the coveted World's 2023 trophy. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.